Hello everybody, my name is Claudio and I want to show to you how deployments works in the new Hall console and I will show also some new features. Let's start by, by uploading a single deployment as, as this is a very common task. Let's enable it. Okay. Well, this is just a simple deployment did at the interface. One of the new features is the console support drag and drop. Let's go to the file system and let's, let's do a drag and drop for this Hello World application, Hello World MDB. Also, good. It uh, just uploads the application, but it does not enable it by default. We need to enable it. We also can can make a unmanaged deployment. Let's get uh, another example here for the Hello World. We'll just copy the address. Okay. Uh, as it is a directory, we choose to not set the archive mode on. Let's just edit and let's enable it. Okay. So we have three applications, and as they are enabled, we see they are show as with different icons. This shows it is an uh, an uh, exploded deployment. We use uh, the term exploded to mean this is not a uh, archive file. So let's go to the to see its content. Well for this is a, a managed deployment and we are not able to see the contents of the file. Let's switch to another deployment like uh, the Hello World MDB. And now we have another content tab where where we can see the it the contents of it of any file for example let's switch to another uh, deployment a WSDL uh, application another WSDL file so if there are any file that's not supported to, to see as a text file for example a class uh, we are able to download it it's going to be downloaded in the file system and uh, there is also the management module this is a runtime representation of the contents of this deployment so not the, the the file content itself there are some runtime information here and we are able to see for example the undertow server that are uh, a single servlet and some runtime information here let's switch to another MDB for example let's see uh, the management module the messaging subsystem for this specific deployment there are some GMSQ and topics they show some runtime information for the consumer and for the specific topic there are also different runtime attributes let's switch back and to the deployments let's deploy um, another application so we can make some modifications to it uh, the kick starts let's choose the kitchen sink all right let's go okay uh, for example we can see the contents of the files but we can't modify its contents we can modify only the exploded deployments so let's first disable this application then there is uh, explode option then it is exploded then we are we can enable it again and view its content and open the index file we can see there are uh, new icons for to create a new empty file to delete and to save a modified file so for example for this uh, let's change the title and save it 
okay let's go back and now let's open the application now it changed the the header for the application then let's create a single let's create a text file here name it test.txt then hello test and save it let's go back and let's open the kitchen sink and the new file okay it works nice so I have deployed more applications to show what runtime information we are going to show in the runtime top level menu uh, let's see for example there is this batch chunk that's a war file with uh, with some bad jobs if we go to the runtime views and batch there are two jobs and they show which application is which application packages this job file and for example let's let's start some the let's start some executions for this job so there is a preview pane where it shows the number of times this job was executed and for this particular batch processing application it needs some more uh, parameters to start this job so let's go let's go to the to the application and let's start some 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 executions let's provide some couple of errors and uh, let's provide a long running job and let's go back to the to the runtime monitoring so it shows a couple different information the blue color shows the number of executions that is executing right now so we we can refresh it let's execute it again and then let's do a refresh okay there is only one running at this moment let's refresh this is just a nice graphic we added to the other runtime uh, to the other runtime subsystems as we are going to see so this is just useful we are able to there is a there is a view menu we can open it and show and it's going to show the different executions with uh, how long it take it took and uh, the execution id the batch status and uh, for the for those jobs that failed the cause of the error then we can use the breadcrumb to switch to the other job so that's it now let's go and see the data source in subsystem uh, there is the example ds it shows the the data source that was created using wildfly and the, these two are just data sources that are packaged with deployed application so unfortunately the statistics are not available for these data sources that are deployed in applications but we are able to test it and flush the connections let's see the EJB subsystem so there is this EJBs uh, they show some runtime information the pool size and the number of uh, invocations and the execution time uh, this is just a preview and we can open and see more more attributes for this particular um, AGB. Okay, let's go now to the JAXRS. They list uh, the endpoints from the deployed applications, and it shows some useful information. And there is some links for if the user wants to open uh, this this endpoint and provide some parameters okay there is the messaging subsystem uh, there is a deployed application that packages uh, that, that bundles uh, uh, JMSQ and the, and the topic you are able to see its contents now let's provide uh, a test for this hello world queue Let, let's go to the to the deployed application and open the application now it uh, by default send 
some messages and now let's go to the runtime in messaging uh, we, we are we can see the number of messages that were already added to this queue and but there are no messages because uh, it was already consumed by the MDB let's pause this queue for a moment and send more messages and let's refresh and let's view its content now it shows the messages that are in the queue and there are different set of actions like for example we can expire move send to that letter or remove this particular message we also we can also refresh let's for example uh, expire this message or uh, remove and change priority and the other actions now let's go back we can now resume the the consumption the clients to consume these messages now if you are going to see the contents it's over because the client already consumed the messages okay now let's see the web uh, under total subsystem let's go enable the statistics for this particular subsystem and there is uh, there is some runtime information for this particular deployment from the undertow subsystem and we are able to see the number of sessions and uh, let's get let's open the kitchen sink there is one session because we have had opened it before there is also the batch processing with, with only one session uh, there are more information here for the http listener let's open let's enable the the request uh, the request start time for this particular listener and let's provide some more requests let's do a refresh now we have a for refresh for the part for this particular http listener and uh, uh, there's there's also the web services subsystem uh, we can also enable the statistics here and uh, there is this uh, particular endpoint let's open it in another tab and provide a couple of requests and refresh okay there is the request response uh, statistics well that's it I hope you enjoyed and there's a link in the description where you can ask questions in the forum. Thank you.